Hey guys, just a quickie video, uh, not a tutorial. I'm comparing a patch on the SY99 with one in Mod 7 on the Kronos. Uh, someone was posting that the SY99 sounds better than Mod 7, and I've heard other people say that, and I think uh, a lot of that has to do with the, the SY99 has a more vintage oscillator compared to a 32-bit precision oscillator. It's got a different filter, but more importantly, it has less parameters, so you get to a sweet spot faster. That's actually not a knock on the Kronos, because the Kronos can take you places the SY99 can't go. You could put filters between operators and all sorts of things. So, um, But what if you have patches that are similarly programmed? Which one sounds better? So they sound, they can sound the same. Um, you, you'd be hard pressed to tell it there, let alone in a mix. So um, I like having the Kronos because it can call up my sounds from the 80s and 90s. Um, like the SY99, you can put this in tone adjust and uh, turn operators on and off from the front panel. Let me turn my mic down. mic back up and back when I had a TX816 and a DX7 I could make layers that were nine deep which was awesome in the 80s <laughs> um, so uh, on the 99 you can make four layers two AFM and two AWM uh, but you instead of the waveform you set the waveform to AFM so you have four AFM polyphonic parts which was cool I'm gonna turn all these operators on. Now on the Kronos, you can go to a combi and you can easily set four layers or more. So pretty cool. You can get those old sounds with mod seven. Um, that's basically it. I, I hope to go into a, a deeper tutorial on Mod 7 at a later time when I have some time. All right, thanks for watching.